EWA is all about making a statement. The brands spend a fortune on their stands, tempting distributors like moths to a flame to spend money on guns, clays, furniture and clothing. Something not for sale is Ike. He and his owner cause a stir every year. This year's sporting shooter editor Dom Holtum is brave enough to approach the amazing looking wolf dog. How is he to have as a dog, as a pet? The first two, three years, uh, they are very difficult, you know, so they are very wild and um, they uh, destroy uh, things, or the house, <laughs> or the car, eat two times my Jeep, you can hear from he inside, Jeep. yes, yes, yes. Twice? <laughs> Twice, yes. And, uh, wow, just and because he wants to get out? Yes. Do you hunt with him, or is no, he's, he's just a big No, he's too big. <laughs> And, and why, why did you choose this kind of dog instead of a Labrador or a Spaniel or a normal dog? Um, because they are very intelligent, they have a lot of qualities, what I appreciate, uh, like the loyalty, the, the so he's, he's completely power, loyal to you. yes, yeah. and, um, and, it's, and he's nice, yeah. He's beautiful. I like yeah. to look at him, so, yeah. But this is not a dog for normal people to have, yet. Yeah? What you, you will say with that, no, that yeah. I'm not normal, <laughs> <laughs> you have to <laughs> explain it. <laughs> yes. So it's Tom. <laughs> Tom wants to tell us if, something. <laughs> if you've never had a dog before, yeah. this is not the dog to get. You have yeah, to be fairly yeah, serious yeah, to look yes. after a dog. Like yes, that. and you need a lot of time, so I have my own business, so he can okay. be always with me. Well, he's, he's an amazing looking dog. So thanks yeah, very much cool. for, for yeah. talking to us. Thank you. <laughs> okay. Still not sure where the wolf ends and the dog begins. But on with the show, and it's amazing who they let in. It's none other than George. He's here filming a new episode of Club Digweed and chatting to some of his sponsors, including Game Ball, Prematic, and of course, Parazzi. First time I've been, I mean, I haven't been very far at the moment, but uh, it's mind-blowing, absolutely mind-blowing. You know, for a shooting enthusiast, this is the place to come. I think there's one entire floor based on knives alone. I had a look at the aim point telescopic sight which is a center dot which you keep both eyes open on they are cheap enough now to be able to put on a on a rib on a shotgun and be able to use that for shooting um, with Brennecker slugs at home on you know foxes and and as long as it's on your license foxes and, and wild boar at home. George is not the only big name wandering the aisles a few years ago Hunter's video in association with Aimpoint introduced Franz Albrecht to Uttig and Spielberg to the hunting world with wild boar fever. So do people recognise him at the show? It happens once in a while. I don't know whether it's because I am a well-known face or whether I'm just in a way. But <laughs> in general, it does happen once in a while and has, let's say, the, the amount of times that I've been stopped has maybe increased over the last one or two years compared to six years ago when I was here the first time. His shooting has become a thing of legend, but did he realise how famous his fast bolt action would become? I, well, I had no idea. I mean, um, Paul Eric, who's um, the owner of uh, Hunter's Video, and I met by coincidence at a hunt in January in 2008 in Berleburg, which is one of the famous hunting estates in Germany, and I was invited as a guest, and Paul Eric was there to make a film, and we were just shuffled together on a stand, and we both nearly froze to death on that uh, January uh, afternoon. But then we, we just realized that we both had the same passion about hunting and that's how the whole filming started. So it was a very kind of learning by doing uh, approach to it. And I think the main, or let's say the main driver to this whole project was the huge uh, population increase of wild boar uh, across Europe. Of course wild boar are exciting to hunt, but can he explain with all his experience of pigs why? That's a very good question. I think many, many people in Europe are asking themselves the same question. Because if you go to a shoot and you have, let's say, five different species that could come to your stand, let's say you have red deer, fallow deer, mouflon, wild boar, and roe deer, I don't understand what makes wild boar the main species that everybody wants to have come by their stand. They're not prettier than a red deer, you know? They, they run maybe a little bit differently, but it's very difficult to grab the, the real the magic, you know? I, I, couldn't, I couldn't tell you, but there is definitely something about them that no other animal or no other species in Europe has, and that's why they've become so popular. More films coming? Definitely. Right, sticking with boar, and Dom's found something for all those guns he tests in his magazine. Okay, so everybody who shoots in the UK needs a gun safe. Essential piece of security and storage. We're here on the Treasure Lixor stand, 
uh, here in Hall 1 and they make some very very nice luxury gun safes but these ones have a little bit of a twist that we liked a lot vinyl wrap costs between 150 euros and 200 euros to have this added to the price of the uh, of the gun safe depending on the size um, and as you can see they've got a few designs and they look absolutely brilliant and essential for any man cave these may not be to everyone's taste but cool is cool and there's nothing cooler at the moment than thermal and night vision ATN is causing a few ripples from across the pond and are now distributing in the UK thanks to Scott Country. It's a little dab of Silicon Valley on the oily metal of the gun trade. So right now I'm using the Excite, full live streaming, 30 frames. You can see everything that the shooter does. We wanted to build the smart scope for your smartphone or your smart life. You know, that's where everything is heading to today. And that's the expectation that we have. We built a lot of features, a lot of functionality in these devices, and it's amazing what they can do today. If you want crystal clear imaging, this will offer it to you. You can work with the system in full daylight, and you can work in total and complete darkness. You press one button and it switches from day to night. What's next? I know, ribs, but not baby back. Browning's back with the Pro Trap Go. Oh, yeah. We've been absent from the trap market for a number of years now, but we were obviously very dominant at one stage, but we've come back with a very strong offering in the Pro Trap. This particular beast is a, a high rib version of the Pro Trap, obviously for obvious reasons. The rib itself is adjustable both front and rear. It's got a two pin adjustment at the front and an infinite number of adjustments at the back with an Allen key. You can adjust point of aim. If you notice as well, this particular model comes featured with the Invector DS choke system, which is common to all the 75 range now. This one also features a Monte Carlo adjustable stock, so infinite amount of adjustments both vertically and laterally as well. So we should have sort of a, a perfect setup for almost anybody. Another key feature of the gun is the weight system. Now we have a, a four end weight and a stock weight as well. So this is the called the barrel weight system and you can move it to the front or to the rear of the barrels and it will go under the fore end as well. The stock weight system, you remove the butt pad, insert the bar and uh, screw it into position and the weights are locked into place with a locking nut. So again you can adjust finally the, the balance between the uh, fore end and the rear of the gun. The high rib trap gun isn't a new invention at all, it's been around for many years and many other companies have pioneered that, that technology so we've been late to the party really in many ways. But I think we've come back now with a very strong intent to go back in and claim some of that market with a very strong offering with a high rib or a low rib version as well, which I can show you now. So this is the uh, still the Pro Trap range, but as you can see, it's got a black action, very plain black action with the gold lettering. It's a very attractive, elegant looking gun. Again, a three position sporting trigger. Uh, the high rib is 3,400. The choked version in the low rib is 2,900. And the fixed choke version of this gun is 2,800. The Browning stand is new for 2015 and looks very smart. They need plenty of space to show off their range of shotguns, pistols and rifles, including this sleek little number. EWA is not just a European event. It is truly international and becoming ever more so. Chinese companies are not just supplying the raw materials and workforce, they're also coming to the market with branded goods. Shooter King is one of them. If we want to survive and uh, make a bigger business in the market, we do need something different. So that's what I suggest to all the Chinese factories, that do something different, do something special, and you can make a good business in Europe. We also ask Healy to answer some questions in Chinese for our Yuku audience. We just hope he's being nice. Hunting really is a global industry, and it's when you come to an event like this, it's easy to see it's doing really well.